Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for the week ahead, so the 15th through the 21st. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you. Sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. Please don't try to make it fit. If it fits, great. If it doesn't, then check your Rising or your Moon or your Venus. Your Venus for love, okay? Um... So yeah, typically my rising sign resonates more than my sun sign, so just saying. Anyhow, um, this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week ahead. I'm going to do the Celtic Cross for this spread, and then I'm going to go back to my regular. Oh, there's something be re being revealed. Somebody may be getting a reality check, or the truth is coming out. Uh, yeah, somebody may be truly walking away, okay? Or they they could be coming back. It could go either way. This is the challenge. The challenge is walking away, you know? That's the challenge here. The truth is coming out about something. Oh, absolutely. This is the sort of truth. So some sort of truth is about to be revealed. There's no doubt about it. You could receive a message or some communication that somebody is leaving or you're leaving, or you could be delivering the message that you're leaving, something like that. Um, oh my goodness! Wow. So there's been it's been a painful, stressful decision. I think that somebody has been suffering, maybe in silence, right? It may have been trying to avoid, avoid the truth, trying to avoid, you know, walking away, or trying to avoid somebody from leaving. But it's like you can't avoid it anymore. Um, hmm. Somebody's been in an unhappy situation. I mean, you could be dealing with a Leo. We have Pisces here. Um, this is unhappy. There's no growth in a situation. We're going to go back around in a minute. Now, this is liberation breaking free. So somebody is absolutely breaking free from a troublesome um, situation that has been pretty disappointing. You may feel like you've been betrayed or they may feel like they've been betrayed. It's like that something has absolutely come to an end with the Ten of Swords, and I think it's been very almost like dramatic or traumatic, either one. You know, it's been there's been some pain here, and this is like this is liberation. So this is freedom, freedom from that pain. <laughs> well, I can't. You know, it is what you guys are definitely. You know, this is starting in a new direction. It is. It's the end, and this is the end as well. It's the end of what was really it's the end of a painful perhaps separation of some sort it's over it's done okay this is a major completion which leads to a major new beginning you are about to embark on a major new beginning it's like one phase of your life one chapter of your life is over and now it's time to you know start on the next chapter that's what we got going on here so um, something big, something really, really big is, is over in your life. So that's pretty interesting. Now, this is something that was prominent, something that affected you, something that was, you know, affected you in a big way. It's over. It could have been a marriage. There could be a graduation. This is something that is life altering that is coming to an end. You know, something that was prominent on your path. Something big. Could be a job, a change in job. This is major. This is the universe saying, you know what? <laughs> Time for you to open a new book. Could be dealing with the Queen of Pentacles. This is this is the outcome. This could be if you are the male, this is where you're this might be where you're headed towards. This is in the future, okay? This is the, the overall outcome. Now this is this is stability. This is, could be who you're gonna run into or who's coming into your life. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If if you are the female, this could be who you are becoming. You are becoming stable, solid, secure. Um, this is this woman. She can take care. She takes care of business in all ways. I mean, she's a businesswoman. She's a mother. She's a cook. She does it all. She does it all, and she does it quite well. She's a planner. You know, so I feel like, it, you know, whether you are the Scorpio man that is you're going to be running into this woman at, at the end of all this or, you know, this is you, the Scorpio woman that is going to be taking on these traits of, you know, I'm stable. I'm, I'm good. Really good. You know, I'm stable. I'm secure. I got it. I got what I need. This woman, she's a hard worker. She's a hard worker and um, she's abundant. So, 
She has a lot to offer and she knows that she has, she knows her value. Okay. And this is the queen of value. So your value is going up. Put it that way. If you are the Scorpio woman, you are, your people are seeing your value. This is the overall outcome. If you are the Scorpio man, then this is who you got that who in the future. A woman of value. So, um, You guys have had to have your guard up, right? It's like you've you you may have been trying to defend yourself in a certain situation. You you may have been misjudged by a person. Maybe somebody was overly critical of you and they put you in a repression. You know, maybe you feel like you've lost yourself in a certain situation. There's been a loss of self. You may be feeling isolated. If there's been some secrets, which most likely there has been, they have either come out or they're about to come out. They're about to be revealed. I think that somebody has been in a situation that they may have felt isolated in, but I see a big change. I do. We're going to go back around here. I think the challenge is probably not going back or in really walking away, really, really not going back or not taking somebody back that or not going back to a situation that was deceptive, that was painful. So I think that is the challenge. Um, this is a blessing in disguise. You have a, you, there's, there, this is a blessing in disguise that somebody is leaving or somebody has left. It is a blessing in disguise. Whether it's you're the one that's leaving or whatever the case is, it's, it's a true blessing. This is a card of healing. It's a card of hope. It's a card of wish fulfillment. You may not see it as wish fulfillment, but it really is. Here we have... Um, not taking action somebody had been lacking confidence lacking courage staying stagnant not moving forward from a situation wow but now it's like you are slowly moving forward or you're slowly moving in a new direction you may have a choice between two options one that's going nowhere and one that you know could go somewhere for some of you you may have an option between a fire sign and an earth sign you know and you have to this is a new idea. This is a new thought. It's, an, it's a new opportunity. So I fe feel like you are probably making a choice or you have made a choice or somebody or the other person has made the choice to not put in any more effort to a situation. You may be just deciding to move in a new direction slowly. I think that this is a very, this is being practical. This is being wise. This is moving forward, you know, making a plan. This is a planner, uh, you know, taking a new approach that is solid and practical. So I think that well, that's what you're doing right now. I think that you are probably, you know, woken up from a situation. It's like you're wide awake now. You're seeing the truth of a situation. And I think that you're slowly moving out of it towards something more stable and secure. This comes before this. So you're on the move. I think that you're 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 headed in a new direction slowly. Um yeah, you, somebody was holding on to a false sense of security in denial about the ending, not wanting it to be real, right? Not wanting to accept that this was already crashed and burned, right? I think we had somebody here that was denying the end, denying the change, and that's you, Scorpio. So I think it was probably you. I think that you were probably in denial over a, you know, false connection, you know, a false foundation. You may, That's what that is. I can't pretend it or make it anyway. That's what we got going on there. Okay, so this is a dead end. It is. This is a dead end. And this is the death of an idea, taking a break, taking a rest to recuperate, recuperate from an unhappy situation where there was no growth, where it was a dead end and move on. So right now you guys are presently moving in a new direction away from the, away from the pain, right? Away from the dead end, away from the unhappy situation where there was no growth. And you know where you're headed? Look at this. You're headed towards this. So if you are the male, you're headed towards this one right here, which is a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If you are the woman, you are headed towards being this person or this kind of person who is quite do. I mean, this this person is abundant. This person it can do it all. This person it knows her value. This person is very valuable. Um, she's got it going on. She does. She takes care of her, herself, her business, everything, like, 
She does it all. So if you're the Scorpio woman, people are going to notice your value. They're going to see what you have to offer because look how big that pentacle is. So if you're the Scorpio male, you could be running into a woman who can actually take care of you. Okay? So if you are the Scorpio female, then this is you being able to, you know, take care of anybody because you you got your shit together. That's where you're that's where you're headed towards. Um people are seeing seeing your stability. They're seeing your reliability. This woman is very re reliable. So you will be thought of as reliable. Oh, in the future, you know, this is mental, mentally trapped, right? But this is breaking free from that trap. This is breaking free. This is liberation from being trapped in those negative thoughts and, and making the decision. So, yeah, you guys are in, right now still because this is a process, right? This shit don't happen overnight. So in the future, you're still going to be a little stuck. You are. Because there was some sort of deception or betrayal here. Somebody may have led you on. I don't know what the case is. Maybe maybe, maybe somebody lied to you the whole time. This is lies. I don't know. Maybe somebody had other options and that's what's coming out. And you realize they have other options, you know. And now you got to choose. you got to make a... You're in, the, in the future, you're going to make a choice to liberate yourself from this situation in which your your offer wasn't accepted. It's like this person kept looking at your offer but not taking it. So I think that you're going to remove yourself from the game to, co to completely stop playing. You're going to step out of it. That's what it looks to, like you're going to do to me. You're breaking free. Relief. You're going to start to feel some relief. You were dealing, some of you were dealing with a person that was emotionally unavailable to you. They probably made you feel emotion. They, they made you emotionally unavailable. They, they probably made you cry. You know, whoever you're dealing with probably really hurt you. I think that there's going to be, in the future, there's still going to be discontent. There's going to be discontent that this person didn't see all that you had to offer. But I think that you're going to make a new choice. You're going to make a decision to, you know, break free from this. That's what this is. This is breaking, this is liberation, breaking free. Because I think that, you know, that relationship is over. If some relationship is over, I mean, that's no joke. It's the truth. We got some sort of relationship. I don't know who's, it could be any kind, could be with a family member. This is a family. Could be somebody in your family that is leaving. Or it could be your partner, your wife, your husband. I don't know. I mean, it could go so many ways. This is, uh, you know, there's been some family issues. There's been some family feuds. There's been some issues at home. And, you know, I feel like it's over. I think that it's done. I do. I feel like in the future you're going to make a decision to, you know, step outside of your comfort zone and choose another option because your offer wasn't accepted here. It's been an unhappy situation. You don't want to play this game anymore. You don't need to deal with people that have competition, you know, that you, you don't want to be in competition with other people. And I think this person has brought your energy down. You know, they've caused you to be overly emotional and maybe even get angry and upset. You know, they've caused some emotions in you that you really don't want to feel, but whatever. And there's been a lot of unhappiness, and I think it's time for you to be happy again. I think that you're going to decide, this is making the decision that, you know, you want happily ever after, and you got to break free from this situation. So I think that, you know, somebody may be walking away from you initially, but in the future, I think you're going to, you may struggle with it for a minute. I don't know if this is the case. It could, could go vice versa. You know, there's a little bit of a struggle, but then I see you slowly breaking free. Like you literally, and if you haven't broken free already, some of you have. I feel like some of you are really, really close to, you know, knowing your worth and knowing your value if you don't already. I mean, you probably already do. Some of you don't because you've held on to a false connection, a false foundation, and you've been in denial over it. I mean, that's what that is. But there's a blessing in disguise for whoever this person is that's that's being removed from your life. Okay? 
You may not see it as a blessing, but it is. A, it's, it is. Because you're about to start a new, new life, a new chapter. You're being called to step over that finish line. Let close that book. Let that cycle end. You know, don't hold on to bitterness. You know, don't let bitterness and anger and resent get in the way. You know, you can, you can keep the memories, but it's time to move on. Maybe you have children with this person and you're dealing with a bitter, maybe this is the other person, they're bitter and they're resentful and they're going to make it hard. Keep going because you're still going to, these, these people aren't going nowhere. If these are your children, they love you. This person, she's, they, they probably see the bitterness. They see that person's bitterness. So if you're dealing with another person, don't think that, you know, you know, I think that it's, it's recognized. Um, yeah. Okay. So we, we, we have you dealing with an individual who may not want to be held accountable for any of their actions whatsoever. They may try to use children against you. I mean, I'm just being honest with you, but, but, but. I feel like the best approach for you to take is to not let them bring you down. You know, don't let them bring you down because that's what they may try to do. Um, just be open. Just be open. Don't, don't, um, don't be greedy. You know, if, if, uh, this is don't be greedy. Um, not saying that you're going to be greedy, but... Maybe this person wants money for the kids, you know, and, they, and that could cause a big problem. I'm just, I'm just telling you, if, if they're begging for money and you want this to go smoothly, this is for some of you, not all of you, and you want this to go smoothly, because this person is nasty, okay, whoever you're dealing with, very, very, very much so nasty, okay, they are, whoever you're dealing with, and, and if you have children in the middle and between you guys, you know, whoever you're dealing with, you know, they want money. And, and my, I would say the best approach is to just give them what they want so that you can truly move on and bring closure to the situation. You know, just give them what they want so that you can have peace. This is peace. You know, and you're probably like, oh, no, well, if you want peace, and if it's for the children, for some of you, it's for the children, whatever. And they're probably like, oh, no, she won't use it for the children. She'll waste it. But at least you did your part, right? Um, judgment call. Yeah, you're going to probably have to make a judgment call. The truth will always come out, and karma never loses an address. This is a card of karma, so keep that in mind. It's it's, it's time. It's not, The truth is going to come out about whoever this person is you're dealing it with. Maybe they've wasted a bunch of money, and they're blaming you. Because we got a victim mentality here, whether it's you or the other person. We absolutely do. I'm the victim. I'm the victim. It's him. It's her. You know, it's not never me. But that, we definitely have that here. And I feel like whatever this is, the truth is going to come out. And it's going to be in your favor because, after all, you're upright. This is your card and it's upright. So if you're dealing with a liar, okay, you're dealing with somebody that is miserable and they're using the kids against you or they're using, you know, whatever they're using against you. I see victory and success in your court, okay? You're going to you're gonna get the victory and success here. So just just don't play their game. Okay, do the best that you can to remain calm and poised and let them destruct because they, they will. They will destruct, so whatever. Yeah, you you got your guard up. I think that you're having to protect yourself. You're, you're deaf. I can see that you are dealing with an individual who is probably childish. Um, they may be... Um, and this is not for everybody, this part. Whoever you're dealing with is, is causing some conflict in your life for that five of swords five of wands under there um and you may need to set up some boundaries and they might cause some fights okay this is fighting so externally i think you got somebody who wants to fight with you you know what i mean who wants to pick a fight with you for some reason and that sucks that does suck um this is emotional support this is love, a new love, 
letting go of anxiety, letting go of guilt, letting go of fear. Letting it all wash away. And heading towards victory and success externally. Hold your head up high. This person is like... Love yourself, okay? Love yourself. Hold your head up high. Don't let this person make you lose sleep. Don't, don't, don't let this person bother you, okay? Love yourself. Love yourself. This is that I see love. You are going to be victorious here. Trust me, you are. You're going to be recognized. This is recognized. So the truth is absolutely going to come out. Just love. Just act with love and kindness, okay? Love yourself enough to just don't get engaged. Don't get engaged with this fool. I'm surprised we don't have the fool card. Um, could be a Leo. Aries, Sagittarius, or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius down here. That's what we got. So I feel like you're gonna you're gonna some truth is gonna come out. It's gonna I think it's one of these people because we got you, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And this is you, you know, closing that book. So I really feel like you guys are or they're close. Somebody is closing that book, and there's just some animosity here. There is. Hidden agendas. You could be dealing with an individual who has hidden agendas. They've been keeping secrets. I think that, you know, if this is you, you've probably... This is this the King of Cups in the upright is somebody who has good intentions. Somebody who had intentions of fulfilling their role in the love arena, okay? This person is very compassionate, tender, you know, listening, uh, wanting to support. So I think that, you know... You've probably given it your all, but whoever you were dealing with had hidden agendas. Um, you could have been dealing with another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I think that um, you're going to be experiencing some conflict. I think there's been some stalking going on, whether it's you or them, back and forth. And I think it's probably, some of it is you, okay? And I think that you're probably seeing some things that you don't want to see. Um... Or they are. Somebody is. And I think it's... it's uh... It's hurting you. I think it's hurting you. I do. I think it's hurting you. Now, this is blocking. You could get blocked. You may need to block them, or they may need to block you. Blocking. This is blocking. So somebody may be getting blocked, or needing to get blocked. Blocking, blocking happiness. We got, it's almost like a playboy. Oh, like a playboy. I'm saying playboy, but I'm thinking a different word in front of about that boy. Okay. F-U-C-K, boy. Is blocking your happiness. Or girl. This is, could be a boy or a girl. They're blocking your happiness. Somebody is, has been or they are blocking your happiness. Because you have an opportunity for happiness with whoever this is. Whether that's you once you get to this spot or whatever. Somebody's been blocking your happiness. The fool. <laughs> I told you. I knew it. You're dealing with a fool. You're dealing with somebody who's taking advantage of you, and I think you know who this person is. It's foolish. Empress. Empress reverse. This is somebody who doesn't know their worth. You may not be seeing another person's worth. Maybe you don't know that you have a bigger, better opportunity. You just got to go through this pain to get it. Maybe that's where you've been. This is, like I said, this is a blessing in disguise, but you don't get this blessing. Same with the Empress. The Empress, she gives birth to a blessing, and it's freaking painful. Give birth. <laughs> 
So I think somebody hasn't been dealt with dealing with their pain. They've been holding it in. They've been blocking it, which has blocked their happiness. And you may not have seen the worth of another opportunity because you are being blocked by the wrong one. Or maybe, Scorpio, you just don't know what you're worth. Maybe you've been letting yourself be played. Maybe you chased after a man or a woman or somebody that had multiple options. Selfish. Because maybe, maybe you didn't know what you were really worth. Maybe you didn't know how beautiful you were. But you're about to turn in, and that's pretty, that's sad, huh, when you, when you get taken advantage of because you don't know your worth. The minute you chase after a man, and I don't care what day and age it is, the Spirit's been guiding me this far, you chase after a man, it's over. They got you wrapped around their finger they you're easy at that point you're easy they don't have to value you because you don't value yourself that's naive that allows you to be taken advantage of know your worth you have a lot to offer So if you are the Scorpio male, the person that could be walking away could be this person. Maybe you didn't know this person's worth. If you're the Scorpio male, you could have a woman that you don't you don't see her worth. Maybe it's not the maybe be maybe it's this new person. If you're waiting for this woman to chase you, ha. <laughs> Like I said, she knows her worth. You got to go get her. She ain't going to chase you. She's wise enough to know better. You want her, you go get her. Unless you're this woman and you're easy. Easy peasy. And you want to be taken advantage of. Or if you want this woman who's easy peasy and has no loyalty. She has so many options. She can run at any moment. She just has to chase the next one. That's the woman you are. She don't sit back and wait for the right one. She chase. She wants anybody. She gets anybody too. It's a karmic lesson for being stupid. Anyway. Know your value. Anyway, Scorpio. You're moving. towards something a hell of a lot more valuable, male or female. What do we got for Scorpio? Blessing in disguise. Somebody's leaving. <laughs> Sorry. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Absolutely it is. After somebody makes that cut with the sword that they got in their hand because they love themselves first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Remember that, will you? Good luck.